Good morning, students. Welcome to the class. Here we are doing an exercise in reading. We are having a wonderful reading passage. It's called Follow Your Passion. Now, what is what does it mean by following your passion? All of us have some or other passion in our lives. Some of us like to play games. Some of us like to read a lot. Some of us enjoy having good food. So passion is essential in everything. It helps us to carry on with our lives. Now, even for our jobs and careers, we need to have a passion. Some of us would love to study and become a doctor. Some of us would love to study literature and other related subjects and become writers or journalists. And some of us would like to become engineers. So this is a beautiful passage as it allows us to focus on our passions. Now there are uh, five objectives, five major objectives for this reading passage. Out of this, we will be covering these three, three objectives in the first part of the passage, and that is infer feelings from the context. So from the particular passage, from the context, what do the words say? And I have to give you an important tip for reading. Reading, you have to do it yourself. Reading, good reading is always silent reading, wherein you interact with the words. You try to infer meanings. So the best way, that's why I have given you a blank page each. I have also provided pencils. So as you read the write-up the write that I have given you in a printable form, you can take out the words which you find difficult and write them separately. And then when you read the entire passage, you can concentrate you know, what, what is the passage trying to say and what are the words you can infer the meanings you will see it's, it's something like magic once you focus on it with passion yes you can infer the meaning so taking notes on details and of course the last thing we will do is recognize and understand reduced speech what is reduced speech in English so here it says a passion is an intense feeling of love or enjoyment for something you do. And what about your careers? Our careers and jobs are the most important parts of our lives. As the famous English saying goes, if you want to like your job, make it your hobby. That means put your passion into it. Enjoy it. Start loving your jobs start loving what you study and start loving the english language because as writers and journalists you need english to study you need english to write as even doctors or professor professors or teachers you need english to write academic papers so i would say this is an opportunity to develop your passion for the english language so in order to follow your passion you need to know what your passion is so let us look at the passage I have given you out as a printable form and I will not do the reading for you because you should do silent reading however I will just discuss few points from this reading passage it burst it presents you some myths regarding your jobs your careers and your studies and it provides you the reality check so this, the facts that is what it does for example some of the students they say i have selected this major i cannot change it now it says this is a myth the real fact is that many of the colleges give you a certain time frame in that time frame you can as well as uh, change your major similarly you have other myths like you say oh career and job they are different thing but that is not the case nowadays you have to leave away come outside your tunnel vision tunnel vision means focusing only on one thing if you focus only on your major subject nowadays when you go into job each field has different aspects so if you become a doctor you have a doctor who is an orthopedic you have a doctor who is a cardiologist you have a doctor who is an ophthalmologist so you have different areas even for teachers you have different areas for all professions you have different areas so you may not exactly get the same profession that you're aiming for or that your major is aiming for you might get it in a different subject so yes you should have you should focus 
you should be versatile. Versatile means to accept everything and to change according to the needs and necessity. Then there are other myths. Some students are shy of approaching the teacher. They think the teacher will scold them or the teacher will be upset by them, but that is not the case. A teacher or a professor's duty is to clear your doubts, to guide you to books, to guide you to libraries. So you must approach your teacher if you're not unable to do an assignment, how to write, how to use academic language. It is the duty of professor to tell you. So students must approach a professor. So these are the issues discussed in this beautiful reading passage. I've already given you handouts. So now please uh, go through it for five minutes. So here, now after after completing this reading, we will answer these questions. They are the 10 words and they are the definitions. For example, what is the first word here? Major. And what do you, what is a major? Major is the main subject of a student. So I think the answer is B. Similarly, what is enroll? Enroll means to officially or official joining a school or college. So I think answer should be D. Similarly, tunnel vision. What is tunnel vision? Tunnel vision means thinking about only one part of a problem. So here the answer should be H. The next is shift. What is shift? Shift is very easy. To shift here means change. So the answer is E. Then drop out. Drop out, everybody understand what's a drop out. So the answer here is J, that is to leave school before you finish. Six is strategy. And the answer here is a planned series of actions for achieving something, that is F. Similarly, seven. Seven is supportive. So what is supportive? Yes, uh, what is supportive? I think it is G. G is giving help or encouragement. Eighth is management. Management is the act or controlling or organizing someone's work. So the answer here is C. And then ninth is bribe. That is to offer a person some money to do some work. And 10 is ultimately. Ultimately, that is finally, when everything is over. So the answer is I. So like this, once you uh, can infer the meaning of the words, then reading becomes a fairly easy matter. So you see the reading passages can be very interesting and they can help you focus your passion. Focus your passion for developing a word, love of words indeed. And here, thank you very much and have a great